Hello. So you have started browsing floor plans on floorplans.com and you have come across some ideas for possible plans that you might want to use and design them in SketchUp. So once you have SketchUp open and you have a new file, new design ready to be worked on, we are going to place an image into this and this refresher tutorial is going to show you how to do that in case you've forgotten. So these are the three plans I'm interested in. This one really looks beautiful on the outside. I kind of like the inside because it has two floors that I can use uh, if I want to do a second floor, but I really like that it has this overall dimension here of 47 feet and it's got this overall width of 40 feet. So I can easily use one of those dimensions to rescale this and resize it. I also like this one because it's pretty basic and I really like the second floor. Um, it's nice and neatly laid out and pretty straightforward. The only problem with this one is that it doesn't have an overall dimension for me to use. It's still very usable though, because one of the dimensions, if you look carefully, is 29 feet, and that's the distance from the inside here to the inside here, and that is something that I can use. So I'm gonna show you that as an option if you have a plan that you really like but doesn't have the overall dimension. As long as you have one good-sized one, you'll be fine, all right? And then this is the last one. This is actually the one I'm gonna model off of, okay? So this one is ideal because like the first one, it has this overall dimension of 40 feet. I can use that really simply and it's gonna make for a good plan. Okay, so how do we get to this? Well, first of all, if you found your design, go ahead and bookmark your page. Uh, if you're on Chrome, you just simply bookmark it. Um, you wanna make sure you're able to go back to that plan if you ever need it. And then we're gonna scroll down to our image and click on it once, okay? That's gonna kind of open up this, this new window here or this new um, view, and it's gonna allow us to save that image. So don't save it directly from the page. Make sure you click on it first. Then once it's open here, right click on it and choose save image as, and make sure you have downloads selected, which I already do. I'm gonna go ahead and change the name of it to house image. Uh, you can call it what you want, but I think that'll help um, keep it organized. Hit save, and you'll see that it is now downloaded right here, and I'm ready to go to SketchUp. So here we are. We're going to go into our model preferences menu. Okay, so the three lines up here. Click on it, choose import my device, and then click on my device again. It's telling the SketchUp that we are going to choose from our device here. Okay, let me close some of that so it's a little less cluttered. You can see today I have this house image already downloaded, so I'm ready to go. Okay, so go ahead and click on that. If you don't see your image, make sure you're on downloads. Hit open, and then I need to choose image. It's not a material, it's an image. So click on that, and then let's insert it. So we're going to do this with two clicks. So first, Move your mouse down till it snaps to the origin. Then click once and then move your mouse out. And I don't know, just make it fairly large. Let's make it about here and then click a second time. So now you've placed it on your canvas here, your work, your workspace, all right? The next thing you do, if you, if you remember, is we need to resize this. If you skip this step, your scaling is gonna be all off when you do your project. So please do not skip this step. So looking at the image, we have a, a measurement here of 40 feet and 48 this way. I'm gonna just focus on the 40 feet and it's pretty simple to resize this. So first, make sure you're in your tape measure tool. Zoom in, I'm gonna zoom in to this corner here. It really can be anywhere on the side because that's where the 40 feet starts. Get it as close as I can, zoom back out, and I'm gonna move my mouse to the other side of the house. Notice how it keeps going from black to red to black. Make sure it stays red. If you are going top to bottom, it's gonna be green, but either way you need to make sure it's red or green because then it's parallel with your axes, okay? So once you get to the edge, click again, 
And then now I just simply let go of my mouse, let go of everything. And I'm going to simply type in 40 feet. So 40 apostrophe and then hit enter on my keyboard. You'll get a little pop-up menu. It says, do you want to resize the model? Click OK. And what it's done, this actually made it a little bit smaller. It just resized it exactly to those dimensions, 40 feet from here to here. And it actually looks right because if you look at our uh, model over here, the perspective looks about right. That's about the size he'd be compared to this garage. Okay, so don't skip this step. Once you've gotten that far, you are ready to save your work and start building the walls. Now, I'm going to show you how to do a plan that doesn't have an overall dimension. So if you don't need this part of the video, you can stop now and move on. But for those of you that have a plan like this, where it doesn't have overall dimensions, keep watching. So first of all, I'm going to undo this, okay, because I'm going to start over. All right, go to that plan that you like. All right, click on your design or click on the floor plan, I should say. Right click on it, choose save as, <clears throat> excuse me. And then I'm gonna change the name to house image two. Okay, just so I have it different from the other one. Hit save, make sure it's under downloads. You can see it download. And then we go back to SketchUp and we do the exact same thing as before. So go to your model preferences menu the three lines, choose import, my device, my device again. This, this time choose house image two, open, choose image, not material, and then snap it at the corner. Okay, so snap, click once, and then move it out a good amount. And, you know, I'm even going to go further than that. I'm going to go out like this so that it's kind of close to the size I need and then click a second time. All right. So now the, the image is placed. We're going to use the best dimension that we have here. And in my opinion, the best dimension is the 29 feet here going from the inside wall to the inside wall up here. So what I'm going to do, do is I'm going to zoom in again, make sure you're on your tape measure tool, zoom in. I'm going to click on the corner of the wall here. Click once and then zoom to the other side. And I'm going to zoom into the inside corner here. And you notice I did it in the corner so that I didn't get stuck somewhere in the middle of the door. But make sure your axis stays green and click a second time. And if you remember correctly, it was 29 feet. So I'm going to type in 29 feet, enter. And it says, do you want to resize the model? Click OK. And now it's resized it based on that one measurement. So as long as you have one good large sized measurement, you should be fine. Um, at this point, you can select uh, the select tool and then click anywhere outside the, the image and you are ready to start building your walls. So I hope, hope that helped. Again, choose a plan, bookmark it, uh, click on the plan like this, right click the image, uh, Choose Save Image As, import it into uh, SketchUp, and then resize it based on one good dimension that you have from your plan. Hit OK. It'll give you the option to resize. Click OK, and you're ready to start your design. Hope that helps. Get ready to start building your walls.